People across the region are getting ready to take part in this year's Sport Relief, where a little bit of sports action can make a big difference to the lives of people who need a helping hand. Now, it could be sponsored table tennis, a swim, or you could be running in one of the miles at the many sporting events. But how about this? Jackson Williams is tonight on his way from Norwich to London, running 120 miles with bare feet. David Williams swam the Channel, Cole and Co conquered Kilimanjaro, James Cracknell rode to Africa. The road of crazy capers is well travelled, but it hasn't been travelled in bare feet. <laughs> Ultra runner Jackson Williams is running 120 miles to the capital of the kingdom with no shoes on. What will the Queen say? His friend, the former Norwich City star Darren Huckabee, was there to see him off. Let's go there. Let's go back, Jack. Let's go this is you know, bordering on crazy, to be honest. It's I don't know if everyone's tried to run 120 miles. Not many people have, but to do it bare feet is, you know, it's taking it to the extreme. Jackson's as fit as a mean fiddler's fiddle, but the roads to London are not paved with gold, but with grit and glass and pointy things. The money he makes and the money you kindly donate will help local projects like this one in Norwich called Extra Time. Paralympic gold medal winner Danny Crate popped in to see it in action. It's a scheme to get the over 60s more active. It's for two hours a week and they can do anything from swimming and badminton to yoga and aerobics. It's sport relief money at work in our backyards. This is what the money goes to do, to fund projects like this, to see such a huge enthusiastic group, not just getting fit but socialising, having fun. And you can see they're not just here for a social day, they're here to work. Jackson is running through the night, goodness knows what he might step in after it gets dark. And if all goes well, he'll reach TV Centre in London tomorrow night. I just hope he washes his feet before he goes to bed. Sean Peel, BBC Look East. Well, we can catch up with Jackson now. He's reached the village of Garbaldisham on the Suffolk-Norfolk border where he's having a break. Uh, Jackson, how are you getting on? Yeah, it's, uh, it's OK. Uh, it's, it's tough. It's <laughs> tough, but... Uh, Hey, yeah, it's, it's, it's the whole point. It's a challenge. It's probably a challenge, so it's been tough. Let's have a look at the feet. How are they holding up so far? Uh, yeah, they're not too bad. I've got some tape on at the minute just to uh, protect it from friction. Uh, friction kind of gives it a bit more of a... Uh, especially the little stones as well. But uh, it's been tough the last 20 miles, but it's only part of the way there, so I've got another 100 miles to go yet. And, and when are you planning well, to arrive, if, you, if you're on time? When are you planning to get there? Uh, we're, we're planning to arrive uh, tomorrow at the BBC studios about 7 o'clock tomorrow night. So uh, about 30 hours altogether from start to finish. Now, this isn't the first time you've run barefoot before, is it? You, you've actually done a half marathon. Yeah, the first, well, the first thing, when I come up with the idea of uh, running barefoot was my, the half marathon, the Norwich half marathon, which was back in November. Uh, and that was pretty tough in that. Uh, but I've now moved on and uh, the plan is obviously to run this sport relief, my, uh, sport relief to London Norwich, London, and then I'm planning to run across Australia as well, barefoot. Wow. Well, we wish you luck for this, this uh, endeavour, and I yeah, uh, hope you. your feet hold up. Thank you very much for talking to us, and good luck. Cheers. And everything you. you need to know about the events this weekend can be found on the official website at sportrelief.com. Everything you need to know about the weather from <laughs> Phil. Thank you, Stuart. Good evening. Well, I'm afraid we've got some rain on the way. Uh, today was comfortably the warmest day of the year, 18 degrees in Norwich.